The last time Eastern Stadium was renovated was about 15 years ago in 2004, and some parts of the stadium are even older than that. There's nothing else like it. Game day at Roos Field. While the vibrant red turf stands out, other parts of the stadium, well, could use some TLC. We have issues regard, regarding the concessions, the bathrooms and that sort of thing. So there needed to be an overall update. The stadium was originally built in 1967 and is the largest gathering place in Cheney. This year, an eight-member task force looked into what improvements they could make to the aging facility. We have a lot more covered space. We have a lot more uh, freedom within the uh, general flow of, of this stadium. The renovations will cost about $25 million and will come solely from fundraising and donations. Since they can't use state dollars to build or remodel athletic facilities, the task force says the project is based on addressing critical needs. Athletic director Lynn Hickey says this is much more than an investment in sports. There's people that are from all walks of life that from all different kinds of cultures and for about three hours, we're all together and we're all cheering for one thing. These renderings show some of the concepts presented to the board. Architects want more of a bowl format to improve the fan experience. This means new seats that are closer to the field, new concessions, restrooms, and club suites. This fits who we are. It upgrades it, but it keeps us to really being true eagles and what we want out of the experience. They won't break ground until they fundraise most of the $25 million. The task force believes they can do this in 18 months. The architect working on the design here at Eastern also worked on athletic facilities at Gonzaga, Whitworth, and WSU. Reporting in Cheney, I'm Tim Pham, Creme 2 News.